I'm going to be picking the last of the elderberries today and tomorrow I'm going to start trimming all these down. Of course it's always my smallest harvest of the year but I think there's at least close to two cups and that will make plenty of tea for the winter time when you need it. I'm going to try to get this first row of um, elderberries trimmed down for the winter and this year I'm going to cut them down further than I did last year because when they were way up in the sky with the, the blooms and the berries when I was bringing them down to get the berries and the blooms they were snapping so they were getting too tall for me to get to so this year I'm cutting them back further So this is what it looks like now, that first row. There are a few there that were too big for my loppers, so until I get something else. But I wanted to show you. You can see last year where I had cut them, cut them off. So I'm cutting them way down, way down this year. So they hopefully won't be so tall next year. But until I get... Uh, something a little bigger than loppers to cut those down. I'm going to come in here and weed some a little bit. I have three piles. Okay. These uh, skinny limbs, I'm just cutting these up and using them as mulch around the ones I just cut off.
Okay, today I'm going to start on the second row. And uh, I don't know if I'll get it done or not. I'm not feeling the best, but I'm going to get out here and try. Well, I got it almost done. I still have to get the big ones off. But you can see that I just did a chop and drop kind of thing. I'm glad I came out this morning because I'm feeling better than when I started. And I got one of my jobs done. It's a good day. All of them? Yep. Right there? Yep. These are okay? No. Yeah, eat. Yeah, there. Lower? That's good. All of them? Yeah. These two down lower? Yeah. Lower? And then, no, leave these behind you there. Leave these? Yeah, these are okay. And then over there, yep. Thanks, Super Bob. Yep. Okay, my whole elderberry hatch area here started off with two, which was this one over here, I believe, and this one here. And then I propagated those up there by putting them in water a month or so. And uh, <laughs> I woke up my ducks. And um, so all those are propagated up there. And these down here are all runners. So they'll just keep running and multiplying on their own. And um, I have another thing to say. There's a lot going around that you says that you have to have two different kinds of elderberries. You do not. And there's also elderberry that's for medicine, which is what I have. And there's an elderberry that is ornamental. So both of them you can use um, to make desserts and pies and whatever, but one is for medicine and one is not. So know your elderberry, do your own research, and um, don't believe what everyone says. 
Find out on your own.